Hey everybody, this is GGB, and today we're going to be talking about a couple bowl games today. We have about six, which is actually kind of cool. We haven't had something like six bowl games in a while. Um, I've actually, since last year, I don't know what I'm thinking about. I don't know, it's a lot of football in a day. Not to mention we get an NFL game and a lot of college basketball. It's a great day for sports, guys. Let's go. Um, but at 10 o'clock Central, we got the Boca Raton Bowl, Western Kentucky, which sits at 8-5, and five, playing App State, which sits at 10-3. and three. App State favored by two and a half points on ESPN, and this is one of my favorite balls. I, I know a lot of people don't get hype for um, uh, lower conference bowls, and I mean, I get that. I mean, there is a certain kind of feel to watching a lower two lower conferences play in a bowl game, and I would get it for teams like Middle Tennessee State and Toledo, like the Bahamas Bowl yesterday, and I get, but like, I really, I mean, Western Kentucky and App State are two of the top uh, group of five programs in the country. And it's like, I don't know, I enjoy watching, like, group of five programs that might not have elite talent, but they're very solid programs. They build a very good fundamental base. I mean, you look at it, App State, you got, you got App State, really, you got Coastal Carolina. I would put uh, Western Kentucky in this category, obviously UTSA at this point, UAB is a great example of Cincy, obviously, SMU, uh, Boise State, like programs that have built such a solid reputation of good coaching, and that means close football games. They play really good, solid, fundamental football. And that's why I really like watching teams like the Hilltoppers and the Mountaineers play. They're fundamentally solid. And I don't think that's that's going to change in a long time. Uh, but Western Kentucky, B Bailey Zapp in their uh, conference championship went 36-59. They're for 577 yards, four touchdowns, two picks, and they still ended up losing that game. This offense goes with Bailey Zapp. And the fact is, I don't think you can shut down Bailey Zapp. Bailey Zapp is a guy that I believe will end up being drafted. He has just been too explosive in college for him not to get a chance in the NFL. He's like a player like Shane Bouchel is my most recent example of a guy like Bailey Zapp, a lower conference player. That, uh, I, get, I guess I guess Shane Bouchel didn't end up getting drafted, but he did get his chances in undrafted free agent with Kansas City. He's on their roster right now as their third string quarterback. Bailey Zapp is the kind of guy like that. He's a very strong arm. I mean, he, if, of a, there's not a great quarterback class this year. And outside of Matt Corral, Kenny Pickett, I can argue a lot of different quarterbacks for the next option. I think Bailey Zapp has an argument to be made that he's the third best quarterback in this class. Um, he is a very solid player. He plays he's really good, guys. I, this is your chance to see him play, but, I mean, it's a treat to watch Bailey Zapp play. He is a phenomenal quarterback. He's really fun to watch. Uh, Noah Whittington on the ground had four carries for 15 yards. Again, the ground game is almost non-existent for them. Uh, this is the air raid system, guys. Um, if you were wondering, this is what Cliff Kingsbury wanted to implement in Arizona before he decided, yeah, that's not going to work in the NFL. But this is the air raid system. They throw the ball a lot. So don't expect too many yards on the ground. Jared Stearns had 10 catches for 179 yards and two touchdowns in their conference championship. And then App State, also in their conference championship, they ended up losing that one. Uh, and you can tell by the stats, Chase Bryce went 12-31, threw for 119 yards and at a touchdown. Cameron Peoples had eight carries for 61 yards and a touchdown. And Thomas Hennigan had six catches for 71 yards and a touchdown. Um, it's just, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that finds this in. I think this is going to be a really good bowl game, guys. You're talking about both teams lost their conference championship, right? So they're coming off a tough loss to the conference championship. But it's just really interesting. These are two of the top teams in the country in a group of five football. They're really fun to watch, guys. I don't know. I think you guys should at least take some time out of your day to watch these two teams play because I can guarantee you there will be fireworks between these two teams. They are both so solid fundamentally. They both play very good football, and Bailey Zapp is one of the most explosive players in college football. I gotta take the underdog here. I think Western Kentucky's gonna win the Boca Raton Bowl, but I do think it's gonna be close. I think it's gonna be a fun game to watch.